they would never know 3CP. Like the 3CP from back then, that's what the reason people know me is because of 3CP. So what I would do, and why my beat stop? Oh yeah, let me start it back up. Okay. So what I would do is, I would just get up there and I would just tell people, hey, I'm the best rapper ever. I'm doing this, and I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the God. I'm the, all this, and hey yo. So we do that, and I'll post like little raps, like I just write some stuff. And everybody would say I sucked and that I was this and he was trash. And it was all fun and game, fun to me. It was kind of crazy to me. <laughs> so when I finally did get upload some, I, I caused so much trouble. Like I would have people so mad at me. I would just talk about this stuff and say, man, you ain't nothing to me. And I finally posted something. And I posted it to the Crossroads beat. The Bone Thugs Crossroads beat. And how so bad it was. But the way I promoted myself, I got, I mean, it was horrible. No studio, no that I just got on the mic, recorded, and rap. I got over a thousand views on that track. I think the thread went for like, like eight, nine, ten pages. Like, it was the most anticipated freestyle ever when I put that out. And it was so bad. It was kind of, I thought it was all right. I don't know, I mean, hell, it was cool. But, you know, some of the people on there were just kind of haters, you know. Most of them was... A lot of white folks that just act like they know stuff, but they weren't tripping on me, <laughs> but hey. So, uh, what this means, to get to this story is, that was when Tosin, the screw shop was kind of like, maybe in its prime, like the, the day when it was kind of popping, like, that was a place to go, like, Comedia.com was the biggest place, Tosin was kind of like a, like a secondary type spot, you know, so, me and Nero started getting his, uh, he went to get, you know, he was finna start getting made, you know, and he needed to make sure his website was presentable to the, to the, to the majors. So when he presented the website, he wanted to make sure nothing was going to happen. We was right with savages on the, on the forum, like, was, they was posting, like, porn, and they was posting all kind of stuff, like, they were just, it was just wild, so he was like, man, we can't have this going on. I can have this, so he just shut the way he shut the form down. Like, and it was like a shock. Everybody who knows those form the form, they know when the shut when the form shut down. It was like, like we got kicked out the house or something. <laughs> like it was because it was our source. You know, all the artists we were uploading, our music people was getting promoted and stuff, and like people was doing all this. So well, everybody migrated to the screw shop, and the screw shop was owned by this guy named Tosin. Tosin, he is kind of a quiet, behind the scenes type dude. You don't, he don't really, nobody's never seen him. I ain't never seen him. I don't care to see him. You know, uh, before I say anything else about that, I want to make sure everybody knows, you know, with the council and everything and the group, no way in no form that they condone anything I'm saying right here. So this is all me against Tosin. This is me and him, this guy. So, you know, I mean, everybody was, you know, people, I heard recently people was, Hashtagging, counseling, and putting in a beef or so like, nah, we don't do that. They don't contain none of this. I'm saying they don't got anything to do with it. So before that, we can get back to the beat again because beat keeps stopping. But uh, so everybody had to go there, and everybody uploaded the music there. And this guy, you know, a lot of people got no respect. Like the, the people we listen to, some of the artists, they they do work with them. They do graphics for them. It was doing graphics with them, CD, like, comedian there did a mixtape with them, like, the website, people, you know, uh, he's from Austin, a lot of Austin artists do respect them and everything and all of this, so he's got a little, good little known following, like, he's, they consider him a good guy, I guess, you know. So, when I get to this website, I start posting stuff about me, you know, I'm from Tyler, Texas. So basically, when I started getting on this website, I started noticing a little trend or something. That, like, they didn't really care nothing about East Texas music. It was basically, if you ain't from Austin, you don't care. Like, Austin is better than everybody. That's basically what it was. Kind of like, that's what it seemed like. So 
people would just talk down on top of Texas, East Texas alone. They would they would talk down like this so bad. I was like, man, what y'all ain't even been to the city and y'all just talking down up like this? Like I would I was promoting the deal, I was helping them promote the site and I was the main reason that people even came to this site. Because remember the three C P I had leave I had the little beef with C Whiskey. He's a rapper out of Dallas and this dude named John Mays. He was a rapper in his career. I mean, you can tell when I say in career, he never heard of these guys, huh? Yeah, that's right, cuz I put like three districts out and after that it was no more, you know. But hey, this ain't about those guys, so I'm not even thinking about them. So we putting up to this site and everybody's hating on us and hating it on East Texas and everything and we like I'm like, man, I mean, what's the deal? What's the problem with us? So, I mean, I would put stuff up and he would, for like, move it to the back, back, like, to the parts of the form where nobody ever goes to. Then I see, like, some guy from Austin put something up and he would push it and they would just blast it. Yeah, 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 Austin, Austin, nah, look at this guy, this guy's the greatest. Like, okay, I'm like, okay. And then I started putting little mixtapes out and everything and they would still just push him back and he would... They would, he would just delete stuff and everything. I'm like, you know, I'm not tripping. And then I started going, you know, they started talking. Talk, they, he was secretly kind of just telling people, aging people, like, yeah, hate on this stuff. We don't like it, hate on it. Basically what he was doing. So when it came to the whole everything about when I'm saying toe scenes get the different, like the dude would start saying stuff. And he was started. I was tell you, I, I sent him messages like, "Come on, talk to me face to face with this phone, phone, whatever." But he would say he would send what I say to people. Would say to him, he sent to his little his followers. After I got like banned from the site, I heard he was sending this stuff, letting them see it, so they could see him talk about me. Like, Come on, what kind of female moves is that? You send it to them to let me to hear them say it, but you won't reply back to me or respond to me. But you want to kind of make a joke about stuff what I'm saying and send it to people okay so we doing that so I'm like okay this story is going on kind of long but hell I don't care but uh so after we did that I said okay it's time to make this this time in this so I put out a track it was called 1-800 you got wrecked part 3 I put out this like a lot of people on there and it's so rare that I can't even find the track no more but it was kind of funny it was for laughs and I kind of got a laugh out of it but the basic thing is this dude been in the game like 15 20 years and he sells these DVDs these little bootleg DVDs I think he's doing his last one soon and like nobody's buying these DVDs like he's got his website I look on the website, okay, this is how you see All-Star Magazine, a guy out of Dallas, he got his website, I think he's been around for about maybe what, four years, his net worth on his website is like $30,000, this dude, whole scene has been hating on me for so long, he's had the website at least since 98, his website is only worth about $1,000, like, what the hell you doing, and I was the only reason people was going there. The only reason people was going there because of me. I made him famous. And people can talk and say what they want. And all these rappers that condone, I mean, even the people that I used to listen to, the rappers that I might look up to that, that like them, I don't care. They don't know how I fraud this dude in 15 years. I'm not talking about, yeah, Jason C. Man. I'm not talking about Cornelius. I'm talking, I had to, had to make a, a oh, Example, I was saying Cornelius' website, he posted a recent, like, his website was worth, like, $30,000. I was saying this dude, Tosin, so I, I searched his website. His website was worth about, like, $1,000 now. So I'm saying, you know, Cornelius has been in the game for whatever. I think that website been around. I know it ain't been around that long. But this dude been around, like, 20 years, and his website not worth more than that. Like, that's what I'm saying. How do you know, this dude doing all this talking, and he's doing all this... Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> oh, y'all true. I'm, I'm talking live with Jason. <laughs> yeah, I'm like saying, come on, man. This dude Cornelius is, is grinding. Like, come on, thirty thousand dollars. Like, come on, man. This dude, I know the dude Tosin's site been around for at least like 
97, 96, like, the dudes, you can, people, the rappers that we listen to know this guy. And, like, what he, he's so scared of me. He, he's scared to death of me. He won't say a word to me. That's the bad thing about it. But he, he loves to talk behind my back and tell his people to do this and all this. He got this one guy, this guy named Brad. Oh, yeah, he's, like, he claims to be, like, a millionaire. This dude works at, like, Walmart. And, like, he, he does, like, he gets on his phone. He, you know, he starts talking about how he got, like, condos and all this stuff. This dude works at Walmart. Came like he's a millionaire. Like, these dudes, like, these Austin guys, these dudes down there, the, his little circle, like, they're all over here acting like they are so on top. But nobody from Austin has ever been big in the rap game. I'm not dissing Austin. I'm just saying. You talking down on Tyler, Texas, like they was talking down on Tyler for the longest. But come on, you yikes kind of in the same boat we in. Name somebody from Austin is just blowing up in the rap game. You can't name them. I know some, I know some guys that I listened to that was cool. Bavu, Blakes, Gerald G. Oh, I mean, well, you got the San Antonio guys. I don't really consider them Austin. But what I'm saying is, you doing all this talking. He's doing all this hating and talking down on me all these years, and you ain't even been making any money. This dude's selling these DVDs. He's been like 25 of them. This dude, niggas, this niggas wasting, literally, like wasting his money on his website. For people to order. I think he finally sold one or something, like recently, like one DVD. It's like, it's like got like little videos and, you know, just some crap like that. So, say this. Toasting, I know your followers don't probably listen to me, or one of your. Your little, your friends from, from around the city, Austin's listening to me, and they gonna go back and tell you, cause that's what they do. They they talk like girls, you know. They tell, they won't tell you nothing, but they'll go back and tell each other, hey, you hear what this dude's saying? And they was like trying to shut my radio show down. They was trying to get people to buy my website and buy the domain name. Like it was gonna really stop me from doing what I do. I mean, come on. And he was condoning, like, everything that these dudes were saying about it. He was condoning. Like, he was like, yeah, do it, do it, do it. We don't like this guy. Get him out of here. So when he finally wanted to make me sure I don't see the site at all, he wanted to keep my stuff up. Like, like he was going to make an example. Like, hey, this dude hating on me. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, anyway. So what I'm trying to say is the screwshop.com is a fake fraud website that I made famous. The dude is a scam. He he, he called himself the dot com done because he made some he, he uh, won some award about being the best graphics artist. But I can tell you right now, I know a guy a guy here in Tyler Texas named Eric Ross that can outdo him at any time. So he's really the dot com dumb dumb like D U M B. The nigga don't even know how to run his own website. This dude been in the game 20 some years. He don't even know how to his website. He he thought I was some Mexican dude making two screen names just to play with people. Like, come on. This dude is dumb as rocks. And I don't care if he gets mad at me. Or whatever he wants to do. Because I'm not tripping. I done sent two people out the rat game for good. You ain't never heard of these guys no more. Because I sent them out the rat game. I took them out and you never heard from them. Everybody said I was talking to these guys on there, DJ Rucker, DJ whoever, all these guys are saying, you ain't finna never do nothing. I outlasted every single one of them. They said nobody would ever listen to nothing I do. They told me I would never be anything. They said nobody from Tyler's gonna ever do nothing. You gonna do this. I done been in the shows with K Greeno, with Zero. I done hung around superstars, the Dallas Mavericks, we didn't roll Bentley's through Tyler, Texas, we didn't drove Lambos, I done been all over the, almost every place in the South that I'm been, and I done been like, come on now, I done did all this stuff these rappers and these guys want to do, I done did it already, so that's why I don't trip on this rap game about trying to be famous, because I was, I mean, I, I walk in the mall, and this guy just noticed me when I, he was handing me, he handed me a CD, handed me a CD, and I recognized the name, and he was from the forum, like, okay, I remember you, and like, yeah, this, that, I'm down 3CP, oh man, this 3CP, like, this dude, he, he was from, he was from Longview, 
And that's how I'm saying.